some it is a necessity. Dr. Charlie Finn of Finn Facial Plastics joins me now to talk about his charity work. It's nice to see you again. Thank you so much for having me. So you are set to take a trip to Central America. What will you do there? This will be our third trip to Guatemala, to the city of Quetzaltenango, which is, which is a mouthful, but it's a beautiful city up in the mountains surrounded by volcanoes that's fairly isolated. Mm -hmm. Guatemala is one of the poorest countries in our hemisphere with one of the lowest per capita incomes, and there's a lot of people with a lot of problems that need help, quite mm -hmm. honestly. So as part of our practice, we've always believed in giving back, and, and I've done international mission trips to China, to Dominican Republic, um, all over the world. And in uh, Guatemala, we started traveling to several years ago, and the mission has grown each year in terms of, of what we do and what we can accomplish. And this year, we're bringing a team of approximately 15 with doctors and nurses and anesthetists to, to help the local population there take care of some of the things that they haven't been able to afford. Yeah, to what take types care of, of the issues past. are we talking about? So, in in uh, Guatemala and in a lot of poor countries, uh, people can often not afford to take care of congenital problems. Simple okay. things like a cleft lip and palate that gets repaired almost from the time of birth here will sometimes go by years and even decades before getting repaired mm. in some of the poor countries. Part of that is from lack of access, but part is from lack of money and financial resources right. to take care of this. In addition to working internationally, you've also done a lot of this type of work here in the states as well. Oh, I, I'm part of an organization called Face to Face, which is the humanitarian wing of the American Academy of Facial Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery. Face to Face has three branches to it. Um, for 20 years now, we've had an association with the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence, where we've offered free plastic and reconstructive surgery to victims of domestic violence. Very simple requirements. They call and make an application. The only real requirement is they're out of the abusive relationship for one year. Mm -hmm. So we want to encourage people to get on to a healthier life and move on. What we can help with isn't so much the emotional scars, but the physical scars that right. remind people of what they've been through. Right. So uh, we will do free surgery, sometimes rhinoplasty, sometimes repairing scars, sometimes facelift even, depending on what people need to get back on their feet and start their life over. What led you to do this type of charitable work? Hey, oh, we've all been giving so much in this country, and I, I think a lot of times people forget how good we have it. And until you give back, it's really hard to... Yeah, I, I don't know. I, my selfish reason is because it's fun, because mm -hmm. I love doing it. I love making someone happy. I love making someone smile. It kind of brings us back to why I got into medicine in the first place, is to help people. Right, and you have expertise in the face. Exactly. So as a facial plastic and reconstructive surgeon, I've specifically trained and specialized in taking care of the face for 20 years now. Very good. Dr. Finn, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. To learn more about Dr. Charlie Finn, give the office a call at 919-933-9522 or visit thinface.com.